Well, hello there, my friend, and we begin another journey together. Today, we're going to dive into a conversation around this overall overarching topic of strategic seduction. But we're going to specifically in this series, because there's a whole series of courses inside of strategic seduction, but in this overall kind of inaugural experience with strategic seduction, we're going to actually dive a little bit deeper, which is we're going to start with the foundation of ultimately what we call the art and science of seduction. So specifically using the overall overarching frame of how seduction works as a conversation. So today we're going to dive into that. That's going to be where our starting point, our step off game. And we're going to specifically start off by looking at what the problem is. And we're going to look at this from a business perspective, but understand that these conversations can apply in strategic seduction and the art and science of seduction can apply to every area of life but we're gonna specifically look at it under the business frame. And so here is, here is the ultimate problem that exists for most individuals in the game of marketing and selling, and when it comes to producing and making money, is the following, and that is that they suck at seduction. And this suck at seduction is a massive communication problem. So they lack powerful, communication strategies, and this sucking at seduction and the lack of power in overall communication and a lack of a mind map inside of their own brain that allows them to actually see the sequence of a person moving from where they are to making a powerful decision leaves them in a position in which their ability to sell, to market, and to sell is weak. And you say, okay, well, if these things are true, if the problem of most businessmen is the fact that they suck at seduction, they lack powerful communication, they lack a mind map that actually lays out a sequence of events, this sucking in seduction, lack of powerful communication, and lack of a mind map ultimately lead to an inability to market and sell. And their current marketing and selling they are doing is weak. And you say, okay, well, what is the point of all of this? Well, what does this affect? This takes the money game and drives it down. Drives it straight to the fucking ground. So most of us, when it comes to the idea of marketing, we look at marketing from a lens of broadcasting. And this has been born from an era inside of this broadcasting game, was born into an area of mass marketing. And mass marketing in the broadcasting game is the way most of us, again, were taught, trained, and educated to even begin the marketing conversation or the selling conversation was we broadcast the message, we generalize it to a mass market, and we expect you to hear what we have to say and to buy. Now, this made sense in an era when the following modalities were available for a person to consume content. One, they could read a book only. Two, they could hear on the radio. Radio. And three, they watched things on TV. And four, they saw things through the newspaper. So most advertising and most communication that we had was acting under a very powerful frame, but it was using the modalities that were available to people, which was we could communicate a message through a book, we could communicate a message through radio, we could communicate a message through TV, and we could communicate a message through the newspaper. And so these, these four powerful tools ultimately brought about content. And that content, as a conversation, was sitting 
and being delivered and broadcasted up by these four different platforms. And inside of that content came what? Well, came the advertising. And the advertising was telling us the following. The advertiser was saying, hey, listen, we're going to interrupt your message and we're going to insert this advertising into books, radio, TV, and newspaper. Now, there was a challenge at this time. And the challenge was is that you had no real ability to produce data. So we didn't really understand what the behavior was, the behavior of most clients. Like your prospects, we didn't know what they were. We had no idea. We didn't understand truly what they were doing. We had some general ideas, but then the internet was born and the information age was born and there was a whole new level of conversation that happened. And what started happening is the traditional platforms of books, radio, TV, and newspaper became less and less and less effective. And inside that space, businessmen continued to operate from an old school game, which is, hey, we're going to broadcast... And in that, we're going to broadcast a general message. And that general message is going to go to a mass appeal. Here is a mass market, meaning here is a conversation that involves all men. And then they would take and we would drive advertising and we would drive messaging and we would drive this conversation at all men. Here you go. Here is a message in your newspaper, in books, in TV and radio. We want you to consume this. Good luck. Congratulations. But this ultimately in a modern age here sitting in 2019, 2020, 2021, like as we sit in these years of production, what has changed is this mobile device. And this mobile device has completely changed the communication game. And we've left this ability to just mass market and we've now moved into a new possibility where losing money, losing clients, losing prospects because our messaging is broadcast based to mass marketed and it's done with a, here is my message, buy my shit. It just doesn't work anymore. No one wants to buy shit from you under that frame. Nobody wants to read your generalized bullshit message or your generalized podcast or your generalized video and simply buy shit. And so people have come into this idea that even in 2019, 20, and 21, that we can take YouTube and we can take Facebook and we can take Instagram and we can take LinkedIn And we can take these tools, these social media tools, and we can just place an ad and everything's going to fucking work out. And we're like, well, here is a video. Here is a ad. Now buy my shit. But this is not how it works. And so what the possibility has become as the revenues and business owners has gone down and down and down. As a traditional game has shifted, it's opened up this gap of opportunity. And that gap of opportunity tells us the following. It says, hey, listen. There is this possibility that exists over here, but it's going to require you to actually subscribe to some new ways of thinking. It's going to require you to think from a different place. It's going to require from that side not to think from a place of ultimately general broadcasting or mass market appeal. It's requiring us to actually move into a realm of direct response. And inside of that direct response, to become niched in our targeting. Ultimately, to actually market to less people. And so strategic seduction is a conversation, is a marketing and selling system that ultimately allows us to take someone on a journey and allow them to ultimately buy from desire. While the old game creates serious amounts of buyer's remorse, creates serious amounts of, of frustration and stress and irritation, while all of this occurs in the old school game, the new school game allows us to say, hey, listen, we're going to go direct response in nature. That means that when I show you something, if I show you a video, I am going to have you do something specific, not general. 
And inside of that, that video, here is the world. And that world that exists over here, we're not interested in that. We're interested in this small little world that exists over here with a handful of people, with a specific niche, with a specific action that is being directed. And this way of operating has us do less but make more. Whereas in the primary game, it has us do more, but actually make less. Our seduction and sucking as bad as we do at it, and our lack of powerful communication, and our lack of a mind map, and our inability to market and sell in a modern game with people who have choices and decisions and can constantly tell us to fuck off, we are left in this decision then of saying, okay, if my money's going down, my lead quality is going down, my conversations with pro prospects and clients that are qualified for my product, service, or service, or experience is going down. Down, and there's more and more people broadcasting information, broadcasting information, because it's easy as fuck to take your cell phone and become a content distributing machine. And instead of living in that blood infested waters, we're going to move to some blue ocean waters. We're going to move to some territory where direct response is our conversation, niche targeting is our game, and where people actually say, thank you. for selling to me. Like I remember the first time this happened to me here a number of years back where I got a check and the check was literally mailed to me and the check was for $10,000 and along with that check was a sticky note and it said, Dear Garrett and then it went on with the message and ended with, thank you. And the message was very simple. Thank you for allowing me to mail you this $10,000 check. Thank you for allowing me to give you money. Thank you. Thank you for this. I appreciate it. Thank you for mailing that check. Thank you for giving me an offer that had me lean in with desire, not desperation. They had me lean in with intensity and with an opportunity to think and to communicate and to connect with you based upon a process that did not demand that I go from zero to 100 miles per hour in my decision-making process in one second. Thank you for building an automated experience that allows me to move down a path of a series of yeses and inside of these series of yeses to make some powerful, powerful distinctions and to make some powerful, powerful decisions that lead me directly to a place of being able to say thank you. And so a man who masters the art of seduction the man who masters the six stages inside of this game called strategic seduction opens up a world of possibility in which there is limited competition, where there is massive value added, where buyers and clients desire and are grateful for the opportunity to buy from you versus being in a place where you are just another noise stuck in a vacuum of other noises with a general broadcasted message to a mass market appeal where your constant ad spend and your constant organic communication and your constant direct mail pieces and your constant emails and everything you're doing to market that is falling short and flat and causing you to become frustrated, disconnected and absolutely lose your fucking mind, let alone your bank accounts. That world we say fuck you to and we move into another world that takes a little more patience, that takes a little more time, that adds a shitload more strategy that says, hey, listen, my entire target is to build a world in which money comes into my business from individuals who say thank you. Individuals that say thank you very much for the opportunity to buy from you. Thank you very much for the opportunity to connect with you. Thank you very much for seducing me. Thank you very much 
for investing the time, energy, and effort to allow me to say yes. And that brings to conclusion here with the first segment inside of The Problem and Possibility.